Hello everyone, Donna Spencer, Luke Journey, bringing you another port review. Today I was hoping we could discuss the beautiful and rather interesting port of Bimini, Bahamas. Since Bimini is located in the Bahamas, Bohemian money is the official currency. But as of the recording of this video, the currency ratio or exchange rate was one to one with US money. So you can utilize either in your transactions with no problems or snags. If you go into Alice Town or any of the other smaller stops along the way, you will find a number of banks with ATMs. I did witness some bartering in the straw markets. Bimini is a mere 50 miles off the Florida coast. It's so close that you can see the lights of Miami at night. It's not as flat as say Grand Turk, but it is still a very flat area. Once you leave the cruise port area, the evenness and elevation of the roads and walkways begins to change quite a bit. While we were moving around the area, I happened to ask, because there are no street signs, I happened to ask what was the name of the road we were on, the main one. And the local kind of looked at me and said, it's the Queen's Highway. And I said, this one? And he says, yes. And I said, why is it called the Queen's Highway? He says, because it's the main road. It's often higher than other things. And the Queen picked it. Not sure which Queen picked it, but the logic is pretty sound. It's also worth mentioning that the locals are extremely willing to talk. Relatively friendly, but not in that creepy way and quick to step in and, and offer assistance if it looks like you need it. In order to get your passport stamped, unfortunately, Bimini is one of those ports that requires you to stay overnight. Uh, there are a number of uh, places that you can get pharmacy items. Uh, there is a pharmacy listed in the Hilton Resort, which is one of the stops on the tram. However, the next thing that's listed is something called Robert's Groceries, and that's on Queens Highway. Extra services available. Now, one of, the, one of the great features about this particular port is they have a number of trams, okay, that will drive you to and from, and it makes six stops. It's got a six stop rotation that it just does all day long. And there are three cars to a tram. The drivers are just absolutely a hoot. Uh, they've clearly been doing this for years. They have an absolutely amazing time doing it. The first time we got to this port, we weren't sure what to expect, but we knew these trams went around and they pick you up at the cruise pier and they have you go through, we call it a bullpen where you go back and forth. It's that queue that you see in, in airports and in uh, banks. They take you first to Fisherman's Village where you can rent for about $60 a day these golf carts that have been outfitted with bigger thicker tires for sand and stuff that's the way to do it if you don't have an excursion and you really want to get around the island that's the way to do it if you're not worried about anything but going to the beach then don't worry about it the tram will take you there and bring you back but it stops at the fisherman's village where you can get the go-karts it be patient sit back and watch the barely controlled chaos is really really funny to watch and I say that because most people don't realize they drive on the left side of the road not the right and so all afternoon some people like my husband caught on real quick no problems uh, you should go check out my brief Bimini drive-by video where we go over a couple of those things it's it is it's very brief as my husband's driving in this thing he caught on really quick but that's him there was a number of people all afternoon I felt for them every time we passed them they were trying to stay on the right side of the road <laughs> instead of the left you know everyone was trying to help them hey get on the other side it because it, it's hard to remember sometimes but there's this barely controlled chaos as everybody is getting these golf carts and taking off and the individuals that are, are renting the golf carts are like Oh, by the way, you drive on the left side here, not the right side. But they're saying that as people are driving off. So I don't know how many people are actually registering this until they pull out and inevitably they pull out in front of a tram. 
okay, this big tram that's, that's public, that's driving everybody around. And so, so many near misses, but these tram drivers are just, they just love it. They, they put on their music and it's always who let the dogs out and they just start swaying and going. So if you're little, if you, if you're prone to motion sick, maybe try to get in the first two cars instead of that third one, but they take you to uh, Fisherman's Village. They take you to the first public beach stop and that's where a lot of people get off. Then they take you to the private, the private beach, which is where a lot of the excursions, the beach excursions take place. It's a very nice area, but then right next to it is Paradise Beach. And that is the last stop before it goes back to, back into town to the Fisherman's Village. That's the one to get off on. Almost nobody gets off there. It's got a, all the same things that the first stop or the first uh, public beach has, but this one is, is almost always rather sparse. And this beach I love the best because if you, once you get settled, start walking north along that beach and you will come across all kinds of beautiful little shells to pick up. Conch shell bits, all right, in various states. This one I just had to bring home. It's, oh, and helmet shells. You'll find helmet shells too. This one is just perfect and it's so small. It became a fidget for me. I would kind of fidget with it. And then I went ahead and brought home a more regular sized one. Uh, now you can purchase these kinds of things in town for five, 10, 15, $20, or you can go to Paradise Beach, walk north, and pick them up off the ground, off the beach for free. And like I said, sometimes you get these cute little ones and sometimes you have these beautiful ones that are, are broken, but you just keep moving along the, the surf there, the surf and the stones. You gotta get to where the stones are, not so much all that beautiful sand. The beautiful sand has all these cute little things in it. Now, going in the opposite direction, going through Alice Town to the other side, you'll come across this beach and it's not necessarily for sunbathing, but it's amazing for beach combing. Okay. You can get all kinds of, and that one's got a lot of beautiful views. It's got, um, a, a water spout that the, the rave waves are big enough to come up. Uh, we found it by accident because one of the bigger waves came underneath everything and shot up in the middle of the air, walking area there and a woman screamed. And so we saw it. Uh, you'll see a little bit of wildlife, uh, some crabs and snails. There's tide pools there. So you can see sea urchins and small fish. Uh, that's a good one to go to. And just kind of, if you're not really interested in sunbathing or swimming, but you need to have one of those rental golf carts to get to it. Basically the other big thing to remember about Bimini is just stay on the Queens highway. Absolutely everything you need or could want is on the Queens highway. Um, all the grocery stores, convenience stores, the high school, there are uh, electronic stores. There are at least three museums on the island. One of them is the Dolphin Museum. It's this big, beautiful mosaic de decor outside building. Uh, last quoted, it was charging about $10 per person to go on in. There's another one that's just on the other side of the high school. And then there's this third little one that we st I stumbled across. It wasn't a we, it wasn't me. I stumbled across it. We came across one of the straw market areas and as my traveling companions got out and went to the straw market area. And so I went ahead and climbed the stairs and I checked and sure enough, the door was not locked. And so I opened it up and I called out and I figured I'm in the middle of everything here. So somebody should see me. The area inside is very dusty that there was a lot of beautiful little things to kind of get in there and look at a lot of, there was an obvious attempt at creating more exhibits for individuals such as myself who are interested in the history of the area. There are a number of children's playgrounds, actual playgrounds that are open to visitors. Uh, again, all you have to do is stay on the Queens highway. Also, you've got the two public, uh, two public beaches that the little ones could play at. Public restrooms are a little bit harder to find on Bimini. And of course the, mm, how modern and how clean varies quite a bit by where you're at on the island. So it depends greatly. There are bathrooms available, but it depends greatly 
where you're at as to how accessible they are or how modernized they are. We found a hidden gem in Bemini in the form of a shack restaurant called Laleas. We had been told by a number of locals that when we asked about possible places to go that you need to go to Laleas, it's the blue shack at the top of the hill. That's all we got. At, go to Laleas, blue shack, top of the hill. Do you, I don't think they realize how many blue shacks at the top of the hill there are. Uh, there are quite a few and we ended up driving past this shop a number of times. They used the term shack quite correctly. Uh, I would not, we drove past it because it didn't look big enough to have house the barbecue grill from the backyard, never mind be an actual restaurant type facility. But we parked, we could smell it. It smelled really good. This place is amazing if you don't mind home cooking. And when I say home cooking, I'm not talking like they're using a recipe that is, is more basic, uh, closer to the standard home cooking. We're talking, she makes the stuff the same way that grandma might make it in your kitchen. All right, so that's just a little bit of a warning there. As long as you don't mind home cooking. I mean, she cleans everything, sanitized, it's safe to eat, but it is definitely not regulated the same way we might think of other places being regulated. The burgers were so big that even my Viking husband had a bit of a difficult time finishing his. At first I was like, I want to share with somebody, but my traveling companions are all like, oh no, you're eating your own. Nobody is sharing with you. They're like, <laughs> my one was like, you're, you lightweight either got to keep up or just get left behind. And so, I ended up getting my own burger. It was very, very good. I, but because I am a lightweight, I ended up ditching the bun after the first half and just eating the patty because you know I didn't want to throw that out because that cost more. It, it, it was just massive. It's about a half a pound of beef. And the fries, oh, a side of fries, thankfully they only got each, couple only got one thing of fries because the fries took up over half of the takeout container itself and the burgers had to sit in their own container over there. It was just huge. All of that, $18. That's it. And she made it right there in front of us. Everybody could watch what she did. She added spices. She cooked onions right there with it. If you wanted onions, she has a special sauce. She was the funniest lady. My one companion's like, I need a sauce. She's like, I gotcha, I gotcha, hun. Can I, can I have, and I gotcha, hun. She just seemed to know what my companion was looking for without her even opening her mouth to say it. And they could not stop talking about how wonderful this place is. We will most definitely be heading back there the next time we're in Bimini. But somebody's sharing with me because I'm not being uncomfortable at the beach like that again. In, uh, in the Bahama, in the, there are a number of banks in the Bimini uh, for utilizing those particular uh, commodities, those particular ATMs. Bimini is a mere 50 miles off of Florida close. It, Florida, hmm. The Fisherman's Village, which is where you can rent go-karts, not go-karts, goodness. All right, I don't even remember where we were. Mm, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo.